November 22, 1963, in Dallas, Texas, President John F. Kennedy is assassinated. The official story goes, three shots rang out from the Texas School Book Depository Building, sixth floor window. Blame was immediately placed on a young Marine from New Orleans, named Lee Harvey Oswald. The big question in this puzzle is, who is Lee Harvey Oswald? Lee Harvey Oswald was a New Orleans boy. He lived all over the city of New Orleans, the French Quarter, uptown, and even now in the hip, artsy Bywater neighborhood. His family even goes back several generations. But the big question is, what was Lee doing in New Orleans in the summer of 1963? Passing out his hands off Cuba literature, arrested on August 9th, 1963 on Canal Street, and a week later in front of the International Trademark Building. That's where he was filmed by WDSU. A week after that, he was brought into the WDSU studios for a debate with a local Cuban exile, Carlos Brainier. After the assassination, that information was taken and used by Information Council of the Americas, also known as Inca, a right-wing propaganda machine where they started to produce LPs, several different versions throughout the mid and late 1960s. Propaganda, truth, We'll never know, but Lee Harvey Oswald speaks. The president's assassin speaks. Many different versions, the drama in Dallas. If you want to know more about the New Orleans connection to Lee Harvey Oswald, just come to New Orleans and take one of our walking tours. We can even throw you on a bicycle and go to locations outside of the walking tour. If you can't make it to New Orleans, there's a guidebook, the New Orleans Guidebook to Lee Harvey Oswald. It is on Amazon. Pick up a copy. These are all the locations around the city connected to Lee, his family, the people he was connected to, where he worked, where he lived. It's a great piece of information, a great little addition to any Conspiracy Buffs collection. We're Strange New Orleans. We're Strange Through Tours.